Hello, I'm Reverend Nikki Tolliver, and welcome to RH Boys 2021 Vacation Bible School. This year's exciting theme is a new song, the message in our music. He put a new song in my mouth, a hymn of praise to our God. Many will see and fear the Lord and put their trust in him, Psalm 40 and three. In this video, I will share some helpful hints for junior and intermediate instructors to make this year's VBS the best ever. Each lesson reminds us that God continually gives us a reason to sing new songs of praise. And this year's VBS should be an exciting time for you and your students. It's a time to remember all the reasons to sing a new song of praise to God. Each featured Bible character in the VBS lessons created songs out of their personal experiences with God. Each lesson has a song attached that is central to the black church's tradition. What a great time to bridge generations. Maybe ask some more seasoned saints to lead the class in those songs. Here's lesson one. In lesson one, the title is, Our Message is Hope. The scripture focus is Deuteronomy chapter 31, verse 19 through 22 and verse 30. Then chapter 32, verses one through 43, followed by Revelation chapter 15. Here's the bottom line. We have hope because God keeps God's promises. We can sing because God is always with us and wants us to flourish. Here's a helpful hint. It seems like there's a song for every emotion, every occasion, every mood and celebration. Ask students to name a song that reminds them of hope. Please take a moment to discuss why the music gives them hope. Ask students how it feels when someone breaks a promise as opposed to keeps their promise. Reinforce that we always have a reason to be hopeful because God always keeps God's promises. Review some of God's promises in the scripture. Lesson two, our message is faith. Scripture focus is Acts chapter 16, verses 16 through 40 in Psalms 91. Here's the bottom line. We place our faith in God because we can trust God. We can sing a song of faith to God because God is our creator. God loves us and God is dependable. Here's a helpful hint. Remind students that sometimes doing the right thing can land you in trouble. Remind them of people like John Lewis and Fannie Lou Hamer and Jesus and countless of others. Ask students if there's a time where it seemed like holding on to faith was complicated. Ask students to bring in a song for the next class that reminds them of hope. Lesson three, our message is peace. Scripture focus is Isaiah chapter 26, verses one through six, and then Philippians chapter four, verses six through seven. Here's the bottom line. God gives us peace through protection. We can have peace knowing that God is always present and God will protect us no matter what we may face. Isaiah taught Israel a song that praised God for protecting them. He told Israel that God would deliver, protect, and bring them peace even during challenging times. Here's a helpful hint. Try beginning the class with a short meditation or breathing exercise. Ask students if they feel peaceful. Ask them to discuss their stressors and anxiety and how they handle them and what they do for self-care. Take a moment to share those self-care helps with other students. Lesson four, our message is love. The scripture focus is Luke chapter one, verses four through 55 and Psalm chapter 86, verse 15. The bottom line is God loves us more than we could ever comprehend. God loves us so much that God sent Jesus to be our savior. And Mary sings a song to celebrate her love and thanks to God. Each day is a chance to sing a new song because of God's blessings and love for us. They never ever run out. Here's a helpful hint. Discuss the different types of love, like familiar or romantic friendship with your students. Ask students to share a song that reminds them of love now discuss how they know they are loved. Ask students what it means to love someone unconditionally. And then ask them if there's anyone they love unconditionally. Ask them how it makes them feel to know that they are loved unconditionally by God. Lesson five, our message is victory. 
Scripture focus is Judges chapter 5, verses 2 through 31. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 22, and then verses 54 through 57. The bottom line is God gave the prophet Deborah, Barak, and Israel victory over their enemies. And just like them, God gives us victory through Jesus Christ. And we should live our lives victoriously. We can sing a song of victory if we listen to God because God never fails us. God loves us so much that when we follow God like Deborah, we get salvation and we get the victory. Here's a helpful hint. Deborah was a powerful woman and that was unusual in that time. Ask students to name other modern powerful women such as Kamala Harris or Stacey Abrams or LaDonna Boyd. Then discuss what lessons can be learned from Deborah's leadership. Each day, take time to discuss and define some of the key words from the lesson. You can even use the VBS characters to assist in defining the key words. Each character plays an instrument and has a brief description. You can use the characters to add some excitement and explain your lesson. Olivia is one of our new characters, and Olivia loves books and has dreams of becoming an author. She's gonna help me introduce some of our keywords. Our first key word is hope. Hope expresses confidence and assurance concerning the future based on God's promises, God's character, and God's faithfulness. And we can sing because of the hope we have in the promises of God. Our next key word is hymn. Hymn is a song that celebrates God and what God has done. A hymn is a song of praise to God. Next, there's peace. Peace is a freedom or, or a period of freedom from disturbance or a quiet and calm state of mind. Our next key word is savior. A savior is someone who rescues others. It's a lot like a superhero. And then there's victory. Victory means to have success against an enemy, an opponent, or something complex. And when you define the keywords, ask students to discuss and relate the keywords to the lesson and to their lives. Make sure you plan enough time to execute the activities included in the student manual. The junior manual includes lesson review, a Bible trivia, and a daily story titled, What's Up With That? The intermediate manual includes Bible trivia, talk about it, which you can have the students reflect and write about in their manuals. It also includes Get Real for ages 12 through 14 and serious issues for ages 15 through 17. Also, the activity guide includes daily activities for each lesson and a section for notes. Visit RH Boyd for more activity ideas and to order or download more VBS resources. Thank you so much for joining us for RH Boyd's 2021 VBS, A New Song, The Message in Our Music. And always remember, God continues to give us reasons to sing new songs of praise to his name. Here's to wishing you a fantastic 2021 VBS.